This never works out well for you. What's your name? Casey Jones. Hey. One question. Are you two guys like a thing? What was your biggest challenge with the shoot? Say the, the, the biggest challenge is is it's not one thing in particular. It's just making sure that as the new person on a movie that it, that had a lot of uh, success, you don't do anything to mess it up. You know what I mean? Right. And and for me, um, you know, I'm used to being the lead of a TV show where I'm the focal point, like I'm the title character. And so in in this instance, this movie is not Casey Jones out of the shadows. It is it's about the turtles. <laughs> They're the hero of the story. And it was important to me to kind of lay back a little bit and make sure that I was a more of a passenger this time around. Uh huh. Because they were like a well-oiled turtle machine, right? That's right. They were a <laughs> well-oiled turtle machine. Now, how was it um, in difference from Arrow from this? I mean, how was the how was the experience? Well, I mean, you're filming in New York City, which yeah. which immediately makes uh, a film entirely unique because New York City is, you know. A character. Unique. Yeah. Right. I feel like Miami, I feel like South Beach is a little bit the same way as it's like, it's, it's its own thing, whereas Manhattan is its own thing. So it becomes a character. That makes it different. And then, you know, when we're on Arrow, we have a schedule that has no give to it. It has no flexibility whatsoever. Once it's boarded, you have to shoot what's on there, or you have to take what you didn't get, and you have to slot it in somewhere else. Whereas Turtles was this very flexible, easygoing thing. Days would shift around. I'd get a call on a Thursday being like, hey, you were supposed to work Friday, not your, now you're not working until the following Wednesday. Okay, fine. <laughs> Where, or you get the reverse call. So um, it's a lot more relaxed, I'd say. So how long were you in Newark uh, in total? Boy, I was there from the uh, end of April until the beginning of July. Oh, so it's a pretty um, long shoot. It's a very long shoot. And, it, and it, it goes longer than that. I was there at the beginning um, but then I was gone before the very end. Wow, wow, wow. So then you had this kind of like time off where you're walking around New York City like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was nice actually. I brought, my, I brought my family. My daughter was one and a half and we actually got an apartment in Soho. And, you know, my wife is, my wife loves America. I wouldn't say that she's necessarily the biggest New York City fan. She's more LA. Uh, but, you know, we live for... The better part of six, you know, six weeks at least when they when they were there, you know, in Manhattan, and that's a unique experience. So that that was a cool thing for me to to be able to do with them. Very cool. Now your daughter, she's two and a half now. Is she gonna uh, see this? She will see <laughs> bits and pieces of it, but she's a little frightened of movie theaters right now. Oh, okay. We brought we brought her into the theater on the Warner Brothers lot to watch uh -huh. the trailer. Yeah. For the first time, and the second the lights went down, she she was not having it. She wanted to go. And the turtles are a little scary too. It's not like they're like yeah. <laughs> they're, I think they're a little bit more friendly than the previous movie, but they're definitely <laughs> not. I mean, she's either gonna react to them and be like turtles, or she's gonna see them and be like, stop this now. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay. On the Thank movie. you very much. Who are these guys? If you want to go down swinging, these guys hit harder than anyone. Cowabunga! Those things are pretty awesome, huh? Ugh. Trying to decide between hockey and a lunatic vigilante. Definitely vigilante. <laughs> Ready PG 13.